My name is Omar Ghanem, and I'm a bariatric surgeon at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. I want to thank the Journal of American College of Surgeons for the opportunity to highlight our work. Our study mainly focuses on the safety and efficacy of revisional surgery as a treatment for malnutrition after bariatric surgery. I want to, to start with the fact that bariatric surgery is a very safe and effective modality to achieve weight loss. Complications are truly rare, and what is more rare is malnutrition after bariatric surgery. However, when malnutrition happens, it is potentially life-threatening, and that's the importance of this study. In fact, the incidence of malnutrition after weight loss surgery varies, and mainly it's according to the initial weight loss procedure that was performed. In the study, we evaluated the patients who have presented to Mayo Clinic with severe malnutrition. This was either defined by aspirin criteria or those who were on supplemental parenteral or enteral nutrition or feeds. We checked our records between 2008 and 2020. 53 patients were included. The anatomy before our revision was mainly Roux-en-Y gastric bypass, but there were patients who had duodenal switch, there were patients who had stiff gastrectomy, and there were patients who had mini gastric bypass or one anastomosis gastric bypass. Before the surgery, 89% of our patients were on supplemental nutrition. The importance of our study is that after our revision and surgery, 87% of these 53 patients were able to eat by themselves and maintain their weight without any help. A lot of these cases were very complex. Some of them had nine abdominal or bariatric operations before we operated them uh, on them here at Mayo. Some of these cases were done in a minimally invasive fashion, but we had to do some in an open traditional way. Those surgeries were associated sometimes with some complications, and this was expected. Many cases needed blood transfusion. Wound infections were encountered. Some had deep abscesses, and some patients developed pneumonia. But ultimately, all of these did not affect the final outcome. Why? Because when it came to malnutrition parameters, all the parameters got better. Lower extremity edema got better. Hair loss got better. Anemia got better. Hypoalbuminemia. Uh, the need for a mobility device, peripheral neuropathy, night blindness, and secondary hyperparathyroidism. Some of, all of got better, but some of these were statistically significant. And I mentioned specifically uh, hair loss, I mentioned extremity edema, and uh, increased hemoglobin level. As a conclusion, with these revisional surgeries, the operative risks are high and substantial, but not prohibitive. And the operative revision in operat uh, appropriately selected patients should be considered a relatively safe and highly effective option for the treatment of severe malnutrition after bariatric surgery. Thank you.